Welcome to TBP News. We'll be your host for this edition. Today is February the 28th, 2019. I am Giselle. And my name is Crystal Reyes. Our first story will be covering Kindness Week. Let's go to Mr. Torres and tell us all about it. Kindness Week is a challenge that is dedicated to creating a culture of kindness and compassion on campuses and worldwide. We put together some activities for the kids to do in their classrooms, and on top of that, we had other children that were reading announcements in the morning that had to do with kindness. Um, and we also did something where we had all of our students go out onto the North Playground and make a heart and then in the middle of that heart, there was the word, there was the word, be kind. We challenged our students to be able to try to do 100 random acts of kindness. Um, I am one of the ones here it was from a student. It was given to him by Coach Crystal. This, she dropped some things and the student didn't hesitate to help Coach uh, Crystal get her things. Kindness is when you let someone borrow something. It's when somebody does something nice, saying a compliment cheering someone up on a bad day. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Our next story is covering... BAM! I got a joke for you. What do the girls plan to eat? I don't know. BAM! Boom! Get it? Not that kind of BAM. I was talking about best attendance month. Let's go to Mr. Schroeder and Miss Fenton to tell us all about BAM is the best attending month. We're going to make February the best attending month in the entire school year. You could win BAM for being here every day, ready, on time. So that means they're here from the time school starts to the time school gets out and they don't miss a single minute of instruction. Every student who had perfect attendance for the month of February will be entered to win one of two bikes. Don't forget to wear your helmet. Buckle up. Attendance is very important because if you're not here, you're not getting the learning you need to succeed in life. Let's learn a little bit more about one of our school clubs. Good News Club is a safe place for kids to go after school to learn about Jesus. Um, and we teach them Bible stories, we teach them songs, we teach them memory verses, we do arts and crafts with them, and it's just a time for them to come and be able to hear God's word and to learn and experience it. My favorite part of Good News Club is that we get to learn more about Jesus and God. My favorite part of Good, of Good News Club is learning about Jesus. I learned that He died on the cross for our sins, and when we're feeling tempted to sin, that we can just pray. Yes, I very so recommend people to um, join Good News Club. Uh, because we get to get more knowledge about God and Jesus and also um, know why you're here and um, and what you could do to help other people. Um, Good News Club can really not be described with one word. To me, it takes at least three. Trust, trust in God, and peace, because if you trust God, He will bring you peace. If there's peace and the trust in God, there is hope for a better future. I want uh, to make sure that all of the students uh, that do attend this uh, Good News Club feel that and that they know that there is hope for a brighter and more um, blessed future. Good News Club is on Mondays at 3.30, right after school. We, we, we are the News Club! Last up for this edition, let's get to know this year's Tilbush Farms Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Pacheco. I've heard really great things about her. Every year since 1972, one teacher is selected from each of California schools to be recognized as Teacher of the Year. Teaching is a profession that is filled with innovative, dedicated, hardworking, and passionate individuals who strive for student learning. This year's Two Inch Farms Teacher of 
The year is fifth grade teacher Griselda Pacheco. Um, I feel very happy. I feel honored, and I am very humbled that my colleagues think that I deserve to be teacher of the year. Pacheco is everywhere and doing everything for kids. She brings many opportunities to the students of the school, such as Spanish club and career day. She's very involved with the parents of the school, um, which helps her students to achieve more. She's extremely caring about what she does and the children that she works with and the, the community that she works for. She's very passionate about her job. She's passionate about her family. She's passionate about her TVP family. She is passionate about her students. She has a lot of dedication for her work. She cares a lot about her students and um, she gives a lot back to her community. She has um, set up our English Learner Advisory Committee, and then that. She runs an after-school um, Spanish language and culture program. She uh, organized, um, along with uh, other teachers, the science fair. She is always dedicated to students, teachers, parents, helping everyone on our team, being dedicated to her students, and making sure that they receive the best education that they can. Checo is inspired. Responsible. Charismatic. Cared. Dynamic. Extraordinary. Teacher. Fantastic. Stupendous. Special. Inspiration. Dedicated. Passionate. High standards. Very hard working. Sarcastic. Incredibly helpful. It's fun. Supportive. Outgoing. Great work ethic. Kind. It's just not me. It's the whole. It's all of us together. You know, it's when I think of two bunch moms, it's just not one person. It's all of us because we're all family. Congratulations, Ms. Pacheco. That concludes this edition of TBP News. Stay tuned for our next edition. Bye! Bye.